I have been molested my whole life. I was beat, raped, urinated on. It was horrendous. And I didn't ask for any of that. I didn't want to be molested. I didn't want to be unloved. I didn't want a mother that just couldn't stand to even look at me. I didn't want to be homeless at 13 years old. I didn't want to be a stripper and in the sex trade industry. And I didn't want to be a drug addict. I didn't want any of that. All I wanted my whole life was to be loved. Sometimes only God can heal. And Cherie is a perfect example of this. There's no other medical explanation. And when I got on the streets, you are immediately surrounded by people that use kids. Do you know what I mean? Um, you are surrounded by people that will funnel kids into the sex trade industry, will funnel kids into moving drugs around or whatever. And I was no different. As soon as I got out there, I was literally picked up and educated. And when I say um, educated, the only thing I can tell you about that is that it was twisted. The things that I saw in my family um, were dark stuff. I mean, it really is hard not to be loved and, and to have to be in the same house with people that look at you and drive with you with a problem. But when you're on the street, um, what I learned is that you are just um, you. Now, it's called a set. You've got to do a set. No. I'm not asking you about this. Get in there. Get in there and do it. I told you. Rarely are the individuals able to cope and actually survive the trauma of these events. No doctor, human doctor, could have changed her chemistry that had been damaged from all the abuse we've seen. It took the ultimate physician, and God can heal cases where no one else can. You think I'm asking you? No, I'm telling you right now! I'm telling you! Don't you ever talk back to me! You know, my mom tried to self-abort six times with me. She has told me my whole life that I ruined her life and that, um, you know, I knew that she hated me. And was I crazy? Was it absolutely crazy for me to think that I could stop all that, that I could actually just change my life? What if it's true? What if God actually has a plan for my life? What if he actually can change all of this garbage, all of the stuff that I saw? What if it's true? And I remember getting hope for the first time. I don't know, um, I had never hoped for anything. I would never um, dreamt or dared to dream about anything, you know what I mean? And now I have hope for the first time. I know at this point in my life that I am not alone. I am not alone. And God has a plan for me, future and a plan, um, not to hurt me, but to give me life. It, it is cool and it is worth the fight. And so if you're looking at any of that, I'm just gonna tell you to fight for it.